I'm with Zen Magnets, and Buckyballs are the leading magnet sphere competitor. On September 14th, we started doing the Zen Magnet Challenge, kind of like the Pepsi Challenge except with magnets. It was a little eBay listing that sold both sets and compared them. Two days later, we get this voicemail from Jake Bronstein, the Buckyball guy. Mr. Q, this is Jake Bronstein from Buckyballs. Uh, you should send me in the next well, before the close of business, any reports that you have from a testing agency. This includes microback laboratories who we use, and who's the other, who's the other testing? No, but the Intertech or Bureau of Veritas. I, I'm going to want to see uh, where your quality claims come from before I file a lawsuit tomorrow. So those are your options. I'm, I'm, I'm assessing damages starting right now. We're a $20 million company. And if you think that I'm not serious, if you think that we have an army of salespeople but not an army of lawyers, you're out of your head. So, again, my email is himself at gmail. I would send it before the end of the day, or you can cut that noise out. Otherwise, I'm going to talk to you in a very different tone through uh, very different people starting tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hi, Jake. I'm sorry we couldn't respond within three hours with the results from a testing agency. I hope you don't mind if I prove my quality claims right now in front of this camera. I'll also show you how to test for quality yourself without any measurement equipment, especially since I imagine you guys don't have any. So the three topics of interest as far as quality go are tolerance, coding, and strength. This is an aerospace IP54 micrometer. It's accurate to one one thousandth of a millimeter. We'll measure magnets between these two datums. And the thimble clicks when it's reached stable measuring torque. Here's a new set of Bucky Balls. Completely sealed, new in box, never opened. Now I'm going to show you how to do science. Buckyballs are advertised to be 5 millimeters in diameter, but they make no mention of expected deviation. Let's begin measurements. Geometric tolerance affects the repeatability and predictability of use. There are also certain objects that you can't even make with badly tolerance magnets. We'll keep measuring the buckyballs on the left of the screen. Meanwhile, these are Zen magnets. We sell them on zenmagnets.com, and occasionally we do sales on Reddit and Woot. As shown here on film, the measurement process for Zen magnets will be the same as the measurement process for buckyballs. But like I had previously said, you don't have to have a micrometer to test for good geometric tolerance. The measurements will continue on the left, and afterwards we will analyze them. Meanwhile, I will show you the rigid stick test, which requires no additional tools. Take a single file chain and make a loop with about a quarter of the length, and roll up the chain until the loop is four magnets wide. Then slice it into a sheet. which will zip right up into a stick. Finish creating the rigid stick by evening out the ends. This is called the rigid stick test because well-tolerance magnets will always hold rigid and straight. Low-tolerance magnets will create a warped stick that wobbles and sways. Relative magnetic strength is also tested in rigid stick form. Create a rigid stick with even ends and slowly move one end off the edge of a flat surface. Eventually, the beam will fail to support its own weight. You can now compare magnetic strength by counting the number of magnets from the closest failure point. The set of buckyball magnets that we opened on spot 
is actually about the same strength as Zen magnets. Measurements for the buckyball magnets are complete. Let's have a look. For the set we measured on spot, the average diameter was 5.009 millimeters, less than one-fifth of a percent oversize, a good six-fold improvement from the last set of buckyball magnets that we measured. The standard deviation was 0.014 millimeters, meaning 32% or more than 14 thousandths of a millimeter away from the advertised diameter. This was not an improvement from the set of buckyballs we measured for the Zen Magnet Challenge. Only 54% were within tenth of millimeter tolerances. Zen Magnets Average diameter, 5.001 millimeters. Standard deviation, 5 thousandths of a millimeter. Percent in tenth of millimeter tolerances, 93. The coating difference is so blatant that I'm surprised there's any contention. Left, Zen magnets. Right, buckyballs. I don't really know what else to say about this. Jake! Like you said, your company has grown to be huge in the past two years. Good job! Um, but look, this isn't the first time we've gotten bogus threats from you just for, uh, encroaching on your territory. Yeah, it's gotta stop. Clearly, you are the Goliath in this situation. We are just the humble, insignificant underdog! Do you really feel so threatened? by our better magnets that you have to flail your sword at us? Please, Mr. Breinstein, don't hurt us!